if you ever find yourself exploring a basaltic composition lava field of which there are many on the planet, you might encounter something strange along the way. Far away from any obvious fence from which lava erupted, you might find a series of circular holes in the ground which may be up to a few feet in diameter. Or you might even find a series of pillars which seemingly jet out of the ground with near vertical walls and have a top which looks like a hat. Despite how strange these features look, they are both examples of what occurred when trees interacted with an advancing lava flow. So, how exactly did each of these features form? For context, the pillars which jet out of the ground are known as lava tree casts, while the circular holes in the ground are known as lava tree molds. Although these unusual lava tree remnants can theoretically form as a result of a variety of erupted lava compositions, they tend to form an association with basaltic composition or other low silica lavas. This is partially owed to the low viscosity of lava flows which aid in lava tree formation which forms relatively thin flows of lava. In other words, a 100 foot thick rhyolite composition lava flow is far less likely to generate these features than a 15 foot thick basaltic composition lava flow. Although self-explanatory, for lava tree molds and casts to form, you need a series of trees on the slopes of or adjacent to a volcano. Additionally, these features are more likely to form during primarily effusive eruptions rather than highly explosive volcanic eruptions. Coming into contact with a tree, the heat from the lava quickly burns it. However, at the same time, pieces of molten rock cling to the tree due to the jagged surface of both the lava and the tree before it begins to burn, and as it burns, forming a sort of cast. Over time, the lava slowly increases in thickness around the mold until it is several meters thick. A second tree catches on fire, but since it only came into contact with a thin layer of lava, there was not sufficient material to form a tree cast. Instead, the original tree burned away, and as the lava hardened, it left behind a circular depression in the ground where the tree trunk once was. After the volcanic eruption ends, the hardened lava and thicker sections of material begin to deflate, causing the surface of the lava flow to fall. This process eventually reveals additional sections of lava which coated the original tree cast. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.